Hey guys, so here today we're going to talk about strapping. We're going to strap down this 19,470 pound counterweight. Now you've seen the chaining videos where we tied one down with chains. This one here has to use straps. Some for protection reasons, you know, and some because the client that we're pulling them for wants them under straps instead of chains. So, we're going to use a four inch strap, okay? If you notice on the four inch strap, it's all rolled up, hooks here. If you also notice, I'm on the passenger side of my trailer. Like I said in the chaining videos, we like everything on the driver's side. There are some loads that you got to cross pull, but depending on the trailer you use, you have ratchets on one side or you might have them on both sides. This particular trailer, we only have our ratchets on the driver's side of the uh, trailer. So, back to the hook. I tell everybody, would you rather be hit with the hook or would you rather be hit with a strap when you throw it, okay? Especially if you're in steel mills and stuff. There are certain steel mills in the country that will kick you out and ban you for throwing the hook across. Basically what that means is, is guys will roll up the hooks like that. Terrible idea, terrible idea. Again, you wanna be hit with that or with that. I prefer this. Especially if you're throwing it across the tall load and you can't see who's on the other side. So, we're going to snug this back up and then we're going to start to strap this load down. It's a four inch strap, 20,000 pound counterweight. My philosophy in life is, is I'd rather have too much than not enough. It's better to need it and not have it than to not have it and need it. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to look for our points here. We got a good point here, good flat surface, good flat surface in the center, and we have a good flat surface on the end, okay? So, we're gonna start with the center. The take was strap, and the wind is blowing today, so they could be crooked. We're gonna take the strap, we're gonna hold it by the hook, because we don't want the hook coming back and hitting us. Grab the strap, we're gonna chuck it across. So if you notice, my lettering is up, my strap will be flat, my hook faced inside. So, we're going to put the hook down through into our slot here. We're going to pull it up. Take your hand, hold it tight, take our little lock lever, put it over. Now, if you notice, it's secure here. We can let go. It don't fall out. So, this side of our strap is secure. Then we have our edge protectors, okay? If you notice on the side of this, it's got a very sharp edge, which will cut your strap, okay? A cut strap is an out of service. If you twist your straps, they will weaken and they'll get cuts in them, out of service. We don't want no out of services. We're gonna take this edge protector. You can pick them up at any truck stop, slide it under, put our tarp under, or our strap. Now we're protected. Nothing to cut our strap. If you notice on these, they're rounded over instead of an edge. So the strap actually kind of rolls over it instead of pulling against it, okay? Now we're gonna go to the other side. So, now we're back to our driver's side. If you look at our strap, we got it flat. We wanna straighten it up. We wanna line it up with a pull. So it's straight, okay? Again, you don't want your strap pulling back here or up here. You want to try to get them as straight as possible. You don't want them with a twist in them. If you can see, twist, it'll build a crease, which will weaken your strap. Some guys will argue that point, but it will weaken your strap. Pull it flat. Again, want to use our edge protector. Put our edge protector on. Now, your load is protected, and we're going to tie it down. Take the end. Line it out like this, fold it over. Now, if you noticed, I didn't pull it all the way to the end here, okay? It's folded right here. So it looks like that. Here's the end of your strap. Reason being is, is so it's flat, because if you crinkle this end up, it's very hard to get into these ratchet straps or ratchet binders, which we'll have another show on. I fold it up like this. Tell you the reason I do this. Once you get it folded up like this, you 
take this part here, pull it through here, nice and neat because I like a nice, neat, clean ride. I take this here, I shove it down. Now, remember all this access right here? Looky here. If we put it right there, see on the other side of the hook, it's double braided. On this side, there's no protection. Now we have protection from our strap. We can pull it tight. I go down here, put me just a slight little bend in it, like so. Shove it through my ratchet strap. Push it until it stops. Roll it over. Now, you see where it's at here? Once you roll it over, right there, it locks. Then, we're gonna get our load bar. Okay, there's two types of load bar. You got a short one for little fellas, and we got a long one. You notice I'm real tall? I like something I can get some leverage on, okay? We're gonna insert it in here, and then you just take it, and snug up your load. Okay, so, now we have a tight strap, about a G. <laughs> our load is protected, our strap is protected, good and secured, our padding ain't going nowhere, and two more straps and we're ready to haul out. If you want to be a part of the nation's largest community of truck drivers, download the CDL Life app today. And if you'd like to stay informed with more training videos, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.